Welcome to your 30 minute flow session. Stepping onto your mat. Starting in a kneeling position, roll the shoulders back. Roll them back again. Standing up, tipping forwards into a forward fold, grab opposite arms to elbows. Just relax the knees, feel the belly on the thighs, stretching and relaxing the hamstrings and the back. Twisting to the right, bending your left knee with your left hand placed down. Swapping sides, reaching up and spiraling open the top arm. Let's do it again, repeat, taking a moment to connect and notice your breath. Roll up through the spine. Come to the front of your mat, to the short end. Inhale, reach high, tip forwards. Half lift, exhale lower. Step back to downward dog. Pedaling through the feet. Flattening the palms, maybe bending the knees, rising up to the toes a couple of times. Taking both heels to the left and rising up both heels to the right. Just moving a little through the hips and returning to downward dog. Roll forwards to plank, place the knees down, untuck the toes. Chaturanga through the knees down, lifting up to Cobra, inhale lift, exhale down, squeezing the shoulder blades together, one more, pressing back through all fours, press back to downward dog, bend the knees as much as you need to at this stage, rise up, and walk the feet forwards between the hands. Half lift, exhale down, reverse swan dive up. Bowing straight back down again. Inhale, flat back, and down. Step back, downward dog. Feeling your weight distributed through the feet backs of the knuckles pressed into the floor, long straight back looking back towards the shins, take a deep breath in through the nose and exhale through the mouth, roll forwards to plank, chaturanga coming halfway down to up dog, and exhale back to downward dog. Look forward, step forward between the hands, half rise and lower. Reverse swan dive up, slight back bend and exhale down again. Half rise and lower. Step back to downward dog. Inhale, lift the right leg to the sky, knee high, step between the hands, lower the back leg, keep the toe tucked, Anjani Asana. Weight presses into the front leg, energy through the fingers, lower the shoulders, Rock back into half Hanuman with aeroplane arms. 
Feel free to place your hands down for extra stability. Sweep forwards. Press up to crescent lunge. Hands frame the foot. Step back to plank and follow through with your chaturanga, up dog, and back to downward dog. Remembering you can use the knees lowered to the floor as an option. Walking forwards, half rise and lower. Inhale up. And exhale back down. Half lift. And exhale. Step back, downward dog. Pressing the hands into the mat, spreading the fingers wide. Tailbone high, hips high. Inhale, left leg to sky. Step forwards, knee high between the hands. Lower the back leg. Anjaniasana. Making sure your knee is not too far over your ankle. Feeling the stretch down the right thigh. Engage your core. Rock back to half Hanuman with aeroplane arms. Sweep the arms up and forwards by the ears and press up to crescent lunge, really engaging the core. Frame the front foot and step back to plank. Weight goes forward, moving through chaturanga to up dog. Exhale, downward dog. At the end of your exhale, walk your feet forwards, half lift and lower. Inhale, rise up. And bow back down. Inhale, half lift, exhale down. Stepping or jumping back to a low plank, press back to downward dog. Inhale, right leg goes to sky, knees high to the chest and step between the hands. Crescent lunge, opening up to warrior two. Back toes are in contact with the floor. Knife edge of the back foot is in contact with the floor. Reach forward, reverse your warrior. Lightly touch the back leg. Straighten your front knee and you'll be in reverse triangle. Reach forward as far as you can, hips move backwards and tip over to triangle. Energy through the lower and upper arm. Looking to the top arm, opening the shoulder up, pressing that left shoulder back. Warrior two, circle the arms, frame the foot and step back to plank. Weight moves forwards, chaturanga to up dog to downward dog. At the end of your next exhale, leap or step forwards. Inhale, half lift, exhale down. Reverse dive the hands up and swoop back down again. Give me a half rise here and lower. Jumping back to low plank, to downward dog. Inhale, lift the left leg, knee to chest, step forward between the hands, crescent lunge. 
Open out to warrior two. Feel the feet in contact with the floor and energy through the arms looking along the third finger. Flip your palm, reverse your warrior. Feel that light touch on the back leg. Straighten your front knee. Keep the extension and reverse. Reach forward with the hand and the torso as far as you can. Hips move back. Triangle pose. Pretending you're wedged between two planes of glass. Looking up to the top hand. Noticing your breath. Back to warrior two. Frame the front foot and step back to plank and follow through with your chaturanga. And flow to down dog. Coming to child's pose. Knees wide, big toes to touch. Forward to the mat, reach forward energy through the fingertips and then allow the forearms to soften. Taking this mini recovery break now. Noticing your breath, noticing the energy and the warmth through the body. Coming back up to downward dog. Inhale. At the end of your exhale, step or leap forwards, half lift and lower. Reverse swan dive up, look to the hands, slight back bend and bow back down again. Continuing on, half lift, lower, step or hop back. Downward dog. Inhale, right heel to sky, knee high, step through, rise, crescent lunge, and open to warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Straighten the front knee, reverse triangle. Weight moves forward, hips go back, triangle pose. Feel free to take a half bind here. Pressing the top shoulder back, opening up the chest, shining your heart forwards. Coming back through warrior two. Circle to the front foot. Step back to three legged dog. Knee to right elbow, three-legged dog. Cross across the body, left elbow, press back. Vasistasana. Left hand to the center of the mat, right hand goes high. Weight onto the outer edge of the left foot. Hips stay high. Back to plank. Weight goes forward, come down halfway to up dog and downward dog. Step or leap forwards, half lift and lower. Reverse arms up. Exhale lower. Half lift and exhale down. Step or jump back to low plank, downward dog, and on your next inhale, left heel goes to the sky and steps forward between the hands. Crescent lunge, opening out to warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Straighten the front knee, keep that stretch in the left side, Reaching forwards, triangle pose. Looking to the top hand and taking your bind if it's in your practice. 
coming back through warrior two. Circle the front foot. Press back three-legged dog. Knee to left elbow. And press back. Knee to right elbow. And press the foot high. Vasistasana, right hand to the center of the mat. Left hand reaches high. Keep the hips high. Press back through plank and follow through with your flow. Step or leap forwards. Inhale, half lift, and exhale to soften. Reverse dive up. You're doing well. We've got another flow. Bow forwards. Inhale and exhale. Jump back. Downward dog. Inhale, heel to sky. Right leg comes forward between the hands. Crescent lunge. Warrior two. Looking along that middle finger, reverse your warrior. Straighten the front knee. Take a breath here. Reaching forward, hip moves back, triangle pose. Again, taking your bind. Opening the chest further. Back to warrior two. Hands frame the front foot. Leg goes high. Right knee to right tricep. Feel free to take a balance here if it's in your practice. Or pressing back. Crossing over. Left tricep. Right heel high. Vasistasana, left hand down, right hand up. From side plank, trace your right big toe and piece grip it, pressing the leg out in front and stepping it forwards. Rise and inhale to crescent lunge. Take a deep breath here. Frame the front foot and step back to wild thing, taking the knee high, pressing it behind, up on the ball of the right foot, point the left toe, come forwards with the knee high, step back to plank or three-legged dog and follow through with your flow. Look forward, leap forward at the end of the exhale, inhale, and exhale. Other side as we reverse dive up and bow back down. Flat back and lower. Step or leap back, press back to downward dog. Inhale, left heel to sky, knee to chest, step forwards, Inhale, rise to crescent lunge, opening to warrior two. Weight firmly through the feet, reach forward, reverse your warrior. Straighten the front leg, energy through the top arm. Reach your weight forwards, pressing your hips back. Sliding down to your triangle, taking your bind. Keeping that right shoulder spiraling back and opening the heart further. Connecting with your breath. Rising back to warrior two, frame the front foot and step back to three-legged dog. Knee to left tricep. Feel free to take a balance here if it's in your practice. Knee to right tricep. 
and press back. Look between the hands, focusing on the right hand in the center of the mat, opening the left arm to the sky, hips stay high, tracing that left foot up the right inner thigh, peace grip the foot and step forwards. Inhale to rise to crescent lunge. Hands frame the foot. Take the left knee high, step it behind the right leg into wild thing. Hips pressing to the sky. Stepping back to plank and lower through to chaturanga and down dog. From downward dog, rise up to the toes, leap forward at the end of your exhale, flat back and lower, reverse dive the arms up and back to heart center. Inhale again, hands to prayer. Knee rises up high in front. Weight into the left leg, step back gently into crescent lunge. Rise back to a knee to the chest, crossing over into Garandasana. Sinking low, right arm under left, connecting the palms if you can. Testing your balance, maybe bowing forwards. Connecting elbow to knee, shoulders down, elbows high, knee high, press back to warrior three. Uncross your arms and fly to aeroplane arms. Bend generously through the front leg, lower your leg to the back to crescent lunge. Take your knee high to the chest and lower other side. Inhale, hands to prayer, raise your left knee high, step back with control to crescent lunge. Knee back to chest, crossing over to Garandasana, sinking the hips as low as you need to wrap the foot around, maybe doing one or two crosses. Left arm under right, palms connect, elbows move away from the body, bowing forward, working on your balance and focus. Knee goes high to chest, press back to warrior three. Uncross your arms and fly to aeroplane arms. Bend generously through the front leg, lower your leg to the back to crescent lunge. Knee goes high to chest and lowers. Roll the shoulders back and roll them back again. Big inhale and exhale. Nose tips forward. Roll the spine down, hands placed on the floor, moving into pyramid pose, left foot steps back. Feeling the stretch mostly through your right hamstring. Hands are supporting you. Palms flat to the floor if you can. Weight presses forwards, bend the front knee and move into pigeon pose. Right knee. To right wrist. Relaxing the back foot, sitting up high, even taking a mermaid option if that's in your practice, otherwise releasing and bending forwards. Relaxing into the mat, connecting with your breath. Flexing your right foot. Hands press back up. 
tuck the back toe, press so far through the hands that you can press your right leg back to plank and downward dog. Walk the feet forward between the hands. Step back with your right leg, pyramid pose. Aiming for our back heel to move towards the mat, you can shorten your step to make this easier. Walk the hands forward, left knee to left elbow, pigeon pose. Sitting tall, back leg remains turned in, taking a mermaid with a couple of breaths or walking your fingers forward, exhaling down, relaxing the body, noticing the effects on your breath. Nice long inhales and exhales. One more complete breath, then walk the hands back towards the leg. Sit up tall, tuck the back toe and step back to plank and downward dog. Rise on the toes, leap forward, Legs outside hands, Malasana. Sink the hips low. Maybe take an extra stretch side to side. Opening up through the chest. Energy through the top arm. Trace the body and stretch and reach. Shine your heart to the other side, opening up. Hands to heart center, elbows pressing to the inside of the knees. Maybe switching on the pelvic floor here. Turn the knees to the front, toes slightly turned in, reaching to the left leg with the right arm, maybe taking a half bind with your left arm. Walk the hands to the other side, left arm to outer right ankle, and take a bind with the top arm, hooking it into the crease between the hip and the thigh. Inhale, exhale, and just let everything go here. Swivel to the front, step back to plank. Follow through and lower all the way to the floor. Open hands to cactus arms. Lift up your left leg and step it behind to the ball of the foot. Feeling the stretch through the right shoulder and the front of the chest. Coming back to center, lift up your right leg, step behind. Stay up on the ball of the toe, this time feeling it across the left side more intently and you can push up on your right fingertips to add to the stretch. Coming back to center, crocodile pose. Noticing the effects of the practice on your body Staying in crocodile pose for at least five breaths. Maybe even moving into Shavasana for at least 10 to 15 breaths. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat today. The light in me sees the shining light in you. Namaste.